Hi, this is Celeste again. I'm jumping on for another impromptu live this week because the news, the mundane uh, news is like so in line with the astrology. I am just enjoying it so much. So today I wanted to talk about this whole game stock, game shop, game shop stock issue. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Now forgive me, I am not a financial analyst or expert, but I am loving this story. So the basics of it, so I may confuse some of this, but I'll do my best. The basics of it is that the game shop stock, this is a store that sells video games, has been plummeted in the toilet and a bunch of like Wall Street types, typical hedge fund managers have what's called shorted the stock. So buying up whatever, on the assumption that the stock is going to continue to lose value. So they make money as the stock price plummets. Well, this group of Reddit investors, it's called Wall Street Beats. There's like millions of people in this Reddit group. And somehow there was, they got all excited about GameStop and have driven up the stock price through this a frenzy of enjoying it, I guess, or not the typical things that make a stock valuable, like a price per earnings and the bottom line and everything else. So it's really, really Saturn Uranus to the T. So um, Uranus coming in and changing things. These revolutionaries have driven the stock price up Hedge fund managers are freaking out because the Saturnian way of working has been, you know, an earthquake under it, Uranus. Um, and now these uh, hedge funds are losing all this money because the, the stock price is going up. And there's something when there's a squeeze... I'm not the person to explain this, but when there's a squeeze like this, they have to buy more of the game stop shop, game shop stock, um, in order to balance their losses. So it is endlessly fascinating how this, um, so Uranus and Taurus, Uranus, the rebel, the, the shock and awe, the unexpected in Taurus, ruled by Venus, which is about money. So perfect for this commerce, um, stocks, economy type uh, change in this area. And the Saturn type figures are freaking out. And it's Saturn in Aquarius. It's a social group that is causing this shock and awe. Um, and what else did I want to say? I just got sent over the edge and had to come up on here when I, I read that the guy who's being attributed to the the force behind this um, this earthquake on Wall Street is named Kitty. What is his name? Oh, I gotta look this up because it's a full moon in Leo today, and the guy who who got this uh, who's attributed that this is named Kitty something. It's, it's coming up. Let's see. It's like Kitty Boots or something. I can't believe I've forgotten his name. But anyway, the point is there's a full moon in Leo today. It's going crazy because Robin Hood, this, it's supposed to be investments for everyone, has stopped trading on this stock because of this activity of this, this uh, Reddit group, which is... Mm, it's a really strange name for a, a company that's going to be protecting the interest of the rich and stopping the, the you know, the day-to-day -day investors from profiting off of this, you know, unusual thing. They're also buying up AMC, the theaters where, I mean, come on now, why are you buying theater stock? So anyway, it is, is shocking people to the core. Even the Biden administration is looking into this. Um, I hope that they won't uh, put the brakes on this. It's so Uranian. I love it, um, especially since I don't have any money at stake. 
And anyway, I just wanted to come on here and, and talk about that because I found it and just endlessly interesting. There's also a few things around Venus and Pluto this week. Um, this Marjorie something something who is this QAnon nut who thinks Hillary Clinton skins and eats babies is a Congress member and she is just a gun crazed nut. Well, this week what came out was that she had been harassing one of the Parkland um, shooting survivors, was running after this 18 year old, trying to shame him for, for wanting gun, you know, gun legislation. Um, and now people are calling for her ousting. I said on Sunday, look for a powerful woman in the news. And Venus, you know, a woman, it can also symbolize young girls, symbolize money. And Pluto, it's like what lies beneath. It's, it's all about power and it's taboo. It can bring up, dredge up the dark, dark stuff. So I think that's also very Venus, Pluto. And I'd be very happy if they sent her on the midnight train back to Georgia because... I mean, this woman seems like really uh, like out there. Um, and the other thing I saw this week, which is just really ugly, ugly Venus Pluto, it's um, about Kellyanne Conway put up a picture of her daughter nude on, what do you call it? Twitter on like a Twitter has a like a, a one day thing and now it's talking about maybe she was hacked or whatever. If you've seen anything about her and her daughter, her daughter has been very Uranian um, influence on her mother. So anyway, that's so ugly. I don't even want to touch it. Totally a young girl, Venus Pluto type thing um, and just really taboo, ugly stuff. The other thing I saw today was in Poland, women are, and people, not just women, are taken to the streets because they are trying to take away the rights for women to be able to terminate pregnancies of, of children that have severe deformities and, and, and whatnot. Um, so that's also very Venus Pluto. So those are my thoughts on what's going on today. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves on the Leo full moon. This energy is intense. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I just love Leo. I love when the moon is in Leo. And I, I'm not wearing red, but I really should be today. Maybe I'll change my clothes. I'm also liking that the sun is standing next to Jupiter opposite the Leo moon. So really um, looking forward to expansion in some way to come from this. It's really a, a lot of energy squaring Mars. So watch yourself if you're feeling emotionally like wanting to be impulsive or lash out. Don't do it. Say it in your head what you wanted to say out loud to whoever it is. Do something for the collective. Take care of others. Let yourself shine. Don't let anyone dim your light and live it up. I will see you here on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. for my live. Unless I have to, again, pop on for an impromptu um, session if there's any other new news. So anyway, thank you and have a great day. And I look forward to connecting again soon.